the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who has taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us that by the gift of the same Spirit we may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen, conceive without sin. Pray for us. Praise the Lord, dear friends. Uh, look with me in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 26. In the fear of the Lord, one has strong confidence, and one's children will have a refuge. In the fear of the Lord, one has strong confidence. What a word of God, especially for all of us um, who have a lot of fears uh, and uh, fears regarding uh, different matters, whether it is future, whether it is family, uh, what will be, how to meet the ends or how to save the spouse, how to save the, the child who is addicted. Uh, so a lot of fears uh, grip us and um, we're surrounded by things happening that cause much fear uh, to us. Uh, but the Word of God is giving us assurance, comfort and uh, uh, strength that uh, if you fear the Lord, that itself uh, is your confidence. So you don't have to fear anyone, anything, but only uh, in love uh, you you have reverence and fear of the Lord and everything is taken care. So may this Word of God help you and this, uh, drive away all your fears as perfect love drives away all fear. Love God and fear God, that's more than enough. And you will have, see your confidence coming back. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.